It's another delicious day here in the Let's Make Food from Food Kitchen, and today I'm making a mild Dijon mustard. So what's the difference between Dijon mustard and whole grain mustard? Well, pretty simple. Whole grain mustard just has your mustard seeds, your vinegar, and your salt. That's it. Dijon mustard, we add white wine or water, if you have kids or pregnant people using it, honey, you could also use brown sugar, but I prefer honey, a little garlic, and some minced onions. So that's the difference between the two. The starting of the process is almost the same. We're gonna take five tablespoons of yellow mustard seeds, okay? And then you're gonna use one tablespoon of brown mustard seed. And let's just talk about that for one second. If you like a spicy Dijon mustard, do four tablespoons of the yellow mustard and two of the brown mustard seeds, and that will make it spicier. Up next, we're just gonna keep putting everything in here. Okay, so this is the apple cider vinegar. It is the homemade. I will put the link down below for that as usual. This is one fourth cup. It is a somewhat dry white wine. It's a Pinot Grigio. You could use a Chardonnay, a Sauvignon Blanc. Um, just don't go for the sweet ones. Okay, and then I have one tablespoon of my local supplier honey over at Dawn's Market in Gallatin. <clears throat> and for those who don't know, Dawn's Market is a little locally owned farmer's store run by some really cool people. Okay. They have a lot of vegetables and they have eggs sometimes and honey. Okay. So we're putting that in there and I'm just kind of stirring a little bit because we want that honey to dissolve some. Okay. Just kind of stick it on there. Then I'm going to put in my salt. That is pink Himalayan salt. Just use one that doesn't have um, an anti-caking agent in it. I've got about two tablespoons of finely diced shallots here. It's kind of minced really. If you don't have shallots, you can use a yellow onion um, or even a white onion. I like the shallots for a lot of things, especially when you have to fine mince them and um, are relying on a uncooked flavor because these are not gonna get cooked. So I like the shallots, okay? But it's up to your personal preference. So if you don't wanna bother with the shallots and you already have an onion, well, just mince up a couple of tablespoons. Okay, and then one garlic clove. Clove, you could add to if you'd like, especially if it's small. Okay, and I'm just gonna give this a good stir. And once I see, it looks like the honey is completely dissolved, so that's what I wanted. That's, that's the main step here, is getting everything combined and making sure that honey is dissolved. That's the main thing here to this step, is getting everything in your jar and making sure that that honey is dissolved. I'm gonna put my lid on it, and then I'm gonna put it in the fridge. You can do a minimum of six hours. We need those seeds to absorb the liquid. So a minimum of six hours. I'm gonna do it overnight, okay? It's middle of the day here, so it's probably gonna be about 18 hours. I'll get out my food processor and puree it in the morning. You could also use a blender, so either one of those will work, but make sure you do that long soak and then you're ready to puree it. So I'll see you for me tomorrow for you in a second. We're back, I let this soak overnight in the fridge, and now all I need to do is pour it all in my blender. I haven't tried to do mustard in this blender, so I'm hoping that it turns out <laughs> if it doesn't i'll just get my food processor out and put it in there instead but there's no better time than the present to give it a try so we'll see what happens and then we'll both know okay i'm just gonna pop on the lid and puree we go That worked out really well okay so with this particular one I don't want any seeds left I want it as smooth as I can get it and there's a few that popped up to the top so I'm just gonna scrape those down and run it one more time mm. 
So all we're gonna do is pour it into my container here. There's only one thing left to do, and that's to give it a little taste. And of course it's straight up mustard, so I'm not gonna take a big taste, but I do have a little bit here. Mmm. Still a little spicy for me. It's a tad spicy for me, but when it's on something, it's gonna be perfect, but straight up by itself, ooh, a little much. So, in terms of storage, tight lid, keep it in the fridge. Your shelf life on this, it really varies because there is the onion in there and things, it shortens your shelf life. So what you're gonna wanna do, keep that tight lid on there, check on it. If it starts to turn a darker brown or if it splits, like dries out and splits, it's done, get rid of it, sorry. Um, small batches are best unless you use a lot of the Dijon mustard. I am going to be making a few things with it, such as, oh, maybe a Dijon salmon. Coming up next. Thanks for joining me here today in the Let's Make Food From Food Kitchen. From my kitchen to yours, let's make food from food. That's one boy, puppy.